sometimes you to choose to be vegetarian and for, for a while she, she thinks that with, to be a vegetarian she can stay healthy and um, can and can avoid having animals and also she thinks that can protect the environment but for over a year when I see her again she um, she mentally and physically uh, weak she weak and uh, not in a good health and she um, will return back to it um, and it needs again and for for that reason I think um, it made me think being a vegetarian is not always a good idea for everyone to choose I have been considered about this matter since I saw some result in the vegetarianism in the real life during my research it makes me um, have some stronger agreement that um, being a vegetarian is not a good idea and um, nowadays vegetarian diet is become really popular um, amongst um, everyone in the world so choosing vegetarian is um, uh, really uh, the popular option for um, for every people but um, I know that um, someone here maybe plan to be a veteran, a veteran, but before you deciding to do it, I'm let me please uh, let listen to my presentation first because I will show you some um, bad points about being a veteran. Um, and today I would like to tell you the negative effects of choosing a veteran diet by trees by two concerns, big concerns. It is not better for health and it bad, it's bad for planet. The, best, the first thing I want to talk about is the issue between vegetarian diet and health. It is not true being a vegetarian can provide a healthy life. In fact, it does not make you feel better because the first thing that vegetarian can maintain the balanced diet um, it can provide enough nutrition requirements for our body, especially its lack of proteins. Its protein is very important for diet, but when you choose to be a vegetarian, uh, you will um, miss, miss um, protein. <coughs> and also, you will miss some essential amino acids required by the body, especially its blocking of absorption. One of uh, the issues about and also size is a um, really in important um, factor to, uh, of veterans. The communication channel science daily uh, um, conducts that fight. One issue why salt and the brain is salt contains phytase, which blocks in the absence while you are in I um, ingesting salt having the most processed food, your body is not uh, absorbing them. This is really critical for brain and nervous system functioning, so it will affect the muscle coordination, memory, reasoning, and much more disease. And the, the second part I want to talk is being a vegetarian, vegetarian can um, lead to some serious illness. Um, Um, it can lose energy levels, muscle uh, fatigue, lower immune system, and menstrual problem. Um, so, um, so brings our brain aging and Alzheimer's disease. Uh, according to the Dr. Long White of Hawaiian, found that a significant link between tofu consumption during middle life and loss of mental ability and even lots of brain weight. So, um, so if you're using petroleum and don't don't use meat, you can like uh, this to use a lot of soy beans and it make you have a mental ability and brain weight. And also, uh, it will cause cause you to 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 less um. Less healthiness, <coughs> and the the set, and now you see a bad effect of vegetarians on our health. Then I will show you the effect in our 
uh, our planet. Vegetarian is also very bad for the planet. The amount of furniture due to grow vegetables um, uh, can, can run into the streams, rivers, and seas and cause the bacterial blooms and it will kill the life of this river and stream is causing major env environment damage. And nitrogen and oxygen molecules get into the rivers are like they will cause a per perfect condition for bacterium bacteria to bloom um, and create the death zone. According to the by David Biolo a scientist um, of American um, science scientist news, he said so. And also, you know that the veterans um, use soy products, but soy, soy products, it um, soy products, it can, uh, it's soy products can, it's a uh, sort of by the farming methods, and if the farming use the chemis chemicals, substances to, uh, to plants like soybeans, and sometimes it's not good for environment when it's for uh, it produces the, the garbage and um, some too sick to the rivers. So today I have t t I have told you I have talked with um, you about the best effect of being a veteran by showing you the effect of uh, your health and your planet. Being a veteran is your personal decision, but. Um, uh, you should think carefully uh, before you choosing to be a veteran because uh, it it um, it will affect your health and um, um, uh, environment. It's not, it's not if you think it's uh, good for your health and environment, but um, um, you now you can see the the best side of it and decide whether it should be a veteran or not. So Irene, what did you think? She uh, walked out. Okay. I can go in for her if you want me to. All right. Why don't you tell us what you thought? Um, I thought her point was pretty clear. She was talking about how the vegetarian not only affects your health, it also affects the environment. Um, I don't think I'm going to become a vegetarian anytime soon, just because of that seat. Uh, I think she needs to look up a little bit more, look at the audience some more, maybe memorize a couple of her speech so she won't have to keep on me looking um, down and stuff. Um, she looked a little nervous, so it seemed like she went a little bit fast. So um, my advice to is is you know, take a deep breath and just do a little bit slower. Uh, other than that, she did really good. Um, I got the point, and I did a good speech. All right. Um, the topics identified adequately, you've got a personal experience that you're using in the introduction. Your specific purpose statement is uh, fairly clear and you've got a good setup of the secondary points. So the structural stuff is okay. It could be uh, more involving, more memorable, uh, more dramatic, uh, but it's satisfactory at accomplishing what a persuasive speech is supposed to do in that early uh, part of the presentation. Um, in the uh, supporting materials, I think that uh, you need a little bit more development about some of the issues. Uh, the examples that you have sound a little, um, well, like I, I think I said earlier, I used the phrase in somebody else's speech, a little generic about some of the issues, and uh, there's not really particular data. One of the things that I noted, for example, is that uh, all of the environmental harms that you listed sound like they would apply to any kind of agriculture. Why is it unique to uh, vegetarianism. The one place where it sounded like there was about to be a link on that had to do with uh, the use of soy products and how soy products are particularly problematic.
project, but I didn't think that that got uh, developed after that. And, and so you need some data, some examples, or some authorities uh, to cite on those particular points. Um, let me see. the. Uh, Uh, the delivery issues, I, I think your eye contact's not always consistent. Sometimes you're looking up, sometimes you're not, and so that's something that you need to uh, work on. Uh, the notes are a little bit large, and sometimes they are distracting. Uh, I, at first, like, like I've said on several occasions, if you are listening closely, it's pretty easy to understand what you're saying, but your articulation is a little bit different because uh, you say the, the words a little bit differently. The first three times I heard it, I thought you were saying veterinarian as opposed to vegetarian. And once you started talking about diets and issues, I said I knew what you were talking about, but the same kinds of issues occur occasionally. I know that's not something that's going to be anything that we're going to solve, that just is going to take practice speaking English in public a little bit more. And I think you're doing a good job on those kinds of things. All right, thank you.